What's up guys, Miller Cop here. We are out at Indiana University. I play on the men's basketball team and we're out at Cook Hall practice facility. Show you what it's like to live around as a hooper. Let's go. <laughs> Final four, the guy's getting recognized. It's Three. a liver king, bro. Uh, yeah. Primal. Primal. Get the shirt, he's right there. The type A. Are you Primal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much he loves the camera. He loves hey, the camera. Hey, this is my man Nunu. Big Nunu. I'm about five, six. Two Italians. 140 on a on a wet day. Come on, y'all see who that is? Big 150. Shout out, Big Primal, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? He's a manager. Tell him why you weren't at practice today. I got kicked out by the head coach. I ain't even a player. Ain't that crazy? What are you doing? You're saying something. I ain't gonna disclose that. He gonna he might fire me for real. But I love you anyway, though. I got two freshmen, Jayla Hutchfino and Kayla Banks, two of my uh, favorite freshmen. I wanna say, what is it like having such a nice vet like me? Big Primal. Like, he's him. Is it scripted? That was not planned. This is not planned. I love you. Man, I love you too. Oh my god. We have to gosh. say to you too. F in love, Miller Cop. He's my boy. I've cheered you on forever. Woo! All right, we're coming in here. Right, uh, post 30 minute autograph sesh with Miller. I use different around here, but we're going to start the tour now. Basically, it's where we come in every day for practice and check it out. Uh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Let's keep it going. We're coming down here on the girls' side of the uh, facility. You know, you see the pictures. You know, they are elite. Elite, elite, elite. Much love and respect for them. Coming in, this is their hat. We split a weight room, but they have their own court. They have their own side of the facility where they have their locker rooms over here. So pretty much, we're coming into the men's side, the men's facility, and the practice gym we have every single day. If we're not in the main gym, we're in here. So let's check it out. Dirty, huh? Yeah, we get active in here. Lights are buzzing. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears in here. And if you screw up, you have a treadmill. Right over there, just like that. Who's the hardest guy to go against in practice? If I got a guard, Xavier Johnson. I'm running out, closing out. He's like, Ging! he's already gone. When's the first game? First official game is November 7th. At home. Come on out. Oh, it'll be out. Where are you standing on this thing? I say I'm six seven. What do you think I am? Five nine. Where am I looking? Yeah, put the hair down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that thing is pompous. All right here, here we go. You're there. You're that's this like, line. That's like five. It's like five, nine, nine. Six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Five, ten. <laughs> I like that. That's good. I held it. That fires me up. Huh? Uh, uh, wingspan. Wingspan. So who's got the biggest on the squad? I think Trace. Okay. Trace has. But the biggest difference on the team is George Geronimo, who's six six, has like a seven one wingspan. Crazy. Yeah. So I'm like. <laughs> You're six nine. Yeah, not bad. That's you not always bad. want to be a little over, so let's see what you got. Oh, dude, this guy's got long arms, man. Six foot. Six. God, <laughs> this, the Italian sausage. Yeah. This guy's born and bred. You've seen the Italian black top. Yeah. You big? Yeah. Quick try. All right, let's keep the tour going. So we're here at the weight room. What's the best compliment? Rip, jack, cut, or swole? Cut. What do you say? Cut. Yeah, for sure. Do you got any nicknames on the team? Usually I go by Mill, Millie K, Primal, Big Primal, Big P. Prime, I'll call you Prime. Prime? Did I just make a new one up? <laughs> you just did. What do we got going here? Favorite exercise, what is it? I'll tell you my least favorite. Anything with the back. Not a lap pull down guy, because I got a strong enough back. Here. Fun fact, he was actually a swimmer in high school. He got the Phelps back going. Who looks so, the most on the team? Anthony Leo. We got all the stats and records on the team. Goes by height too, so it's Kind of fair. Probably the most athletic guy on the team. Boom, bingo. Trace checks. Mm -hmm. Where's Prime on there? Big Primal is not on there yet. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't updated these, Ooh. so I will be up there. Check this out. Pull up. Your boy ripped 27. Wow. Most in the squad. Yeah. What's this guy right here? You're grabbing it, ripping it down. So you could even hit his couple core here. <laughs> Get a couple reps in. I like this though. This is different. I never hit one of those. Lacrosse players, we don't do that. Explain to the fans what Primal is. You've seen my teammate was wearing Primal. It's locally grown, nationally known. Dude, that's good. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I'm keep using that, that again. That. So basically what Primal is, is, is a brand I created and started based off some funny TikTok videos that I made last year. But it turned into something more serious. The message is really about being yourself and being the person you were born to be. That's what it's about. I love that. Yeah. Prime himself. My Primal. Yes. Oh, dude, that. this guy is the epitome of Primal. Actually. I can be the Primal mascot. <laughs> is our practice locker room. So one of two locker rooms that we have. 
You ever get a little studious right here? Some guys get active there. Can't say I do a lot. I get yeah. my stuff done the night before. Yeah. You're one of the smartest guys on the team. Highest GPA. What do we got? 4-1, 4-2? Ah, yeah, I don't know, but I know it's the highest. Okay, right. I like that. We got a fueling station here. They keep it stocked for us. My favorite though, no one else eats them. Uh -oh. I think I saw a TikTok about it. Yeah, oh, God. What do we call it? Big bounce back day, or what was it? Big time bounce back day, yeah. Okay, yeah. B, D, D, D. A B, 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 D. B, B, D, D. No, B, 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 D. Big bounce back day, <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Long story short, I had, I had a really bad practice, and I was upset with myself. So I go back, I was pissed all night. We had a lift in the morning, I was pissed all morning. Came back and practiced, said, you know what, I'm gonna have a B, 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 D, big time bounce back day, and I did. So if you play? put it out there, good, better. Better. Okay. <laughs> Smart okay. pop type of guy. Okay. I mean, I keep it light. Yeah, most of the time, though, I keep it clean, keep it primal, and uh, just <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Coming into the practice locker room, so I told you one of two locker rooms we have, and this is what we got. What do we got in Big Prime's locker? Right so this I got is the best spot in the house. So I got a prime time locker, yeah. shoes, hoodies. You're giving these loops. They yeah. can keep track of your laundry and which clothes or which guys. So you come in clean, you wear your clothes, you take your clothes off, you put on your loop, practice, get all sweaty, put your clothes back on the loop, put that loop in the dirty clothes, shower, and then put back on your clean clothes. Yes. Here, I'll show you. Maybe, maybe she'd have cleaned up. No, I got back here. I usually had some pictures, but I got one to sell up. Me and my dukes. This is our first Look day at here at Indiana moving in. Took a picture. Picture. Oh, that's Shut a young up. prime right there. Is that buzz cut prime? <laughs> so before we came in, he said his favorite shoes were top left up here. And you'll be seeing him wear these in the first game. They're not shacks, they are primes, baby. <laughs> No, but these are actually a special shoe because they're the first ever shoe that actually goes curves the opposite way it should. So if you check those out, it kind of has a contorted turn. Yeah. So fans are asking what, how you get your hair going in the morning. Simple. Water and that's it. I don't shampoo or condition. Not even once a week? No. Yeah, what I do for my hair. I, I know. You don't do anything. Oh, anymore. yeah. How do you know that? Come on, man. I do my research. Oh, yeah. Give me a dab. Locally grown, nationally known. We got some clothes down here. Got some undershirts, socks, tennis ball. Come down here, more stuff. Oh, and then this is... Uh, oh, neck God. pillow for trips. You're crunked out. Oh my God, I mean, I'm like, <laughs> any which way. Everything's connected here, so gym right here, locker room, weight room, and then you come right out the door, and we're gonna take an underground tunnel to assembly hall to the game day locker room. You got the pants on, you got the jersey. When do you start to hear the noise? Fans get here super early. You'll start to hear some fans in 90 minutes, and when you get down to the end of the hall, down to that kind of beat, you'll start to hear a little, like, rumbles. How nervous do you get before games? Wow. At all. Uh, I've played 122 college basketball games. Really? It's a lot. They're just games. Yeah. What sort of guy you before the game? You serious? You fall? Or? I'm normal. Depends on the timing. Like, you okay. can't be serious. You can't be like two hours for Like, two hours, you're just like coming in. Like, you just can't yeah. be that. Yeah. So, coming in after the hallway, this is the game day locker room. Pretty sweet. Look at that. Play Brad and ping pong. You wanna play? I mean, I don't wanna hurt you on live television. I'm a I'm nice good. Italian I'm guy. Good. Fans don't know. Kevin Pelkey taught me well. My dad played professional tennis. First sport I ever learned to play. Quick game to five. Comment below who's gonna win. Big John, who do you think's gonna win? You gotta go, Miller. <laughs> it's called Let. Oh, okay. I'll give him one. That's one. That's one. Four hands weak. Oh, what is that? Oh. Jeez, I can't get sweeped here. Three out, three out. Now I did hit Brad with this move, and then we hit one. Oh. <laughs> three out. Dude, he okay, does not like his forehand. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's just sad. Again. Four hours before every game, have our pregame meal. Okay. This will be in here. So we'll go walk through out on the court. Yep. Go through scouts and go through kind of what we're doing in the game. Come in here, pregame meal, eat together, and then we're off on our own. Then we come back to the game. Oh, God, right we're here. Pop one of these though. Dude, are you nuts? Isn't right here. Nice? Let's say it's halftime. You just dropped 50 on a team. <laughs> You're laying like this. Yeah, if it's halftime and I just score 50 points, dude, I'm dumb right here. Coach can't tell me anything. 
But yeah, we're coming in. Indiana's a big time program. They've got a lot of pros and the biggest thing, a lot of national championships. For us, the goal is to add another one right here. And then coming over here, we got the pro wall that, you know, when guys go pro, they come back, they sign this guy right here. And uh, it's pretty cool. It keeps everybody connected and keeps the family. And they come in here, game day locker room. This thing's pretty sweet. It's where we come in, have meetings before the game, go over a scout, go over our plays. Let's sit right here. What's the uh, pregame playlist looking like? For four games, I'm a hip hop guy. What do you got? The Young Dolph songs. Ooh. The guy plays 100 shots every game. And there's like two guys that you would never suspect to be Young Dolph like yeah. fans. Yeah. Like the first game of the year, like they play the song. I like just like look around and they're just like, <laughs> it's, <out> of their <laughs> shit. it's like, dude, they're singing every single word like they wrote it. And I'm like, and I like hype them up. Hey, hey, hey. This is my guy right here. We just keep it clean. Like, we don't use these every day, we use literally for games. So basically, I went to Northwestern for three years before I came to Indiana. So it's my second year in Indiana. I've always loved Indiana because of my first game ever in the Big Ten, which was at Indiana. This picture was from my first game at Indiana University, but I was playing for Northwestern. And there's young Miller Cop looking at the professional NBA player, Romeo Langford, dunking the ball in my first ever Big Ten game. I was nervous as ever. And that face right there is one of, oh, shit. And that place went as loud as I've ever heard any gym. Kind of gave me a love for Indiana. Full circle. First ever Big Ten game. And now I'm here. Young Prime. Young, young Prime. Prime. How about that? We're coming straight from the game day locker room to then 10 feet away is famous best arena in the country. Assembly Hall. This is like legendary. Literally legendary. 17,000 plus in here, 18,000 really. It gets active. So I think it's the biggest freestanding student section in the country and it sounds like it. Name and occupation. Miller Cop, basketball player, entrepreneur. Freakiest thing you've ever done? Oh, come on, man. I got three brothers, so probably like wrestled just naked. <laughs> I get in the portal, bombarded with calls. You know, I ended up looking at USC, Oregon State, Texas A&M, and Indiana, of course, and chose Indiana because it was a good basketball fit. I love, love, love Indiana as a basketball school. You know, they just love basketball more than anything, and so that's how I ended up here. And while you were at Northwestern, you played with a legendary lacrosse player, Pat Spencer. What was it like playing with him? Give us a little background on that. As many people know, Pat Spencer is, uh, he's like a ghost. The guy's got no social media, he's in and out, and you don't know what he's doing. But while playing basketball, was one of the most competitive guys I've ever yeah. met in my life. He was intense, fiery. You didn't know what Pat Spencer you were getting that yeah, day. Okay. In a good way, though, because, yeah. you know, he gave us so much energy and gave us so much passion for, for the game. He wanted to win more than anything. As a player, you know, you work your whole life as a goal to be a, you know, college basketball player and make a Division One. We hear rumbles of, like, our coaches going to scout a, you know, lacrosse player for the team. <laughs> Our initial thoughts are like, what do you mean? Like, is his son playing his lacrosse and he's just checking him out or what? No, like coach is looking at a lacrosse player to maybe play for his fifth year. And we're like, what do you mean? Who is this guy? <laughs> so one thing led to another. We got him and it worked out well and, and it was great playing with him. But Pat is a guy who doesn't want to lose. Indiana coming in preseason 10. What's this season looking like? And are you guys going to bring Indiana back to the top of college basketball? Well, yeah, that's the goal. We've got high expectations. Rightfully so. We've got a great team coming back. We have, you know, a potential national player of the year, Trace Jackson Davis, you know, so you got a guy like that, you have a you have a chance to be really good either way. Coming into this year, Coach Woody is, is a guy who talks about winning a national championship and a Big Ten championship every single day. So it's nothing we're shy from talking about. Anything less is a loss. Describe Coach Woodson in three words. Genuine. This is a two-part word. Old head and cultured. Obviously, he played here back in the day. Does he ever bring up his old days plan? Every day. Really? So he, he has a couple stories that he rotates. Just like your dad, your grandfather, they got like four stories that they just come back to but he's got one story he, he talks about or he, he missed a rebound or missed a box out when he was playing here and coach Knight made him run the stairs and bleachers here for like an hour and a half and then the rest of the team was practicing and after he was done running the stairs he came down and finished practice and so he always talks about like son when I played coach Knight made me run the stairs for an hour and a half come back down finish the practice so you think you have it hard and so it's like we're like coach come on like we've heard, we've heard this one before like the freshmen don't know but we know it most members game in Assembly Hall. We're here right now. Rob Finnessy making the game-winning shot against Purdue. Finnessy lets it go from deep. He's got it! 
to snap the streak. This is actually a student-led question. They're saying you are the most handsome guy on campus. I'll take it gladly. I'm not going to say I am, but I'm definitely not going to just say, you know, no, I'm not for sure. Okay. But I, if someone says it, I'm going to take You're it. You're going to wear it on your chest. For sure. Brad, we talked about him earlier. The academic weapon, the legend. What was he like as a guy? Well, Brad is a uh, genuine dude. You know, he talks about like academic weapon. Brad Kraut is a weapon. He is a weapon in everything he does. The guy is an energy bomb. A couple takeaways from him. What he did such a good job of is interacting with fans like he's known them their whole life. He'll meet a guy and, what's up, bro? Like, are you good, man? Like, how's everything going? Like, are you kicking the sheets? Like, what did you do this morning? What time did you wake up? Like, like, that sounds exactly like him, too. I got his impression down to a T, I think. Starting five Indiana all time basketball players. Who is it? Jeez. Isaiah Thomas, Mike Woodson, Miller Cop, Randy Whitman, and Jordan Holes. What position are you playing on that team? Point guard. Isaiah's going to the two. Last question, though. Is Dr. Prime himself a pineapple on pizza guy? Absolutely not. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> if you like pineapple on pizza, are you primal? Absolutely not. Brad likes pineapple on pizza. That's ridiculous. I mean, I got to talk to the guy about that. I mean, but Miller Cop, TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. See you next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Deuces.